the Los, Los Angeles Lakers almost said that kind of weird, but the Los Angeles Lakers are reportedly still undecided. They're like conflicted on whether or not to sign Anthony Davis to an extension. I think before we get into the report, initial thoughts and seeing a headline like this, I think more what they're more worried about is the price tag. Like, how do you price Anthony Davis? Because do you pay someone for their potential at that stage of the career or do you pay someone for their availability? Because when he's available and fully healthy, he's arguably a top 20, maybe top 15 or 10 player in the NBA, depending on who you think. I think he's closer to 20 at this stage in his career. Like, he just needs to be more consistent. And I don't know if that's because of health or not. Like, when he's on, he's like, top five at his position, maybe the best at his position. So for me, I do find it a bit strange. Like sometimes I am a bit confused on what is the true Anthony Davis at this stage of his career. But that's where I think we need to know the price point. What would you pay him? 40 million a year, 30 million a year. He's still a guy that if he plays, you know, 60 plus games and can make it to the playoffs, he's a 20 points per game scorer who rebounds 10, you know, 10 plus rebounds, arguably one of the best defenders at his position and can step out on the perimeter. Again, arguably one of the best defenders in the NBA, but now they say the best qualities availability. All right. And, or the best ability is availability, whatever they say. And, do you pay him off of that? So let's get right into the report. As for me, I think it is an interesting thing. So the Anthony Davis becomes eligible for a contract extension with the Lakers. They can give him 167 over three years. Davis signed a five year 190 with them during the 2020 off season after they won the championship. And supposedly they don't know if they should just sign him to an extension now or if they should wait till after the season to see if you know how he looks after that if that'll increase or decrease his value but basically what they're saying is that the lakers ever since they got anthony davis is they're thinking you know it's a combo deal davis and james and if james's contracts up after this season and he leaves then they're basically it's david mcminnon of espn is incentivizing that they probably would move on from Anthony Davis if LeBron leaves because they don't want to be have part in Anthony Davis not saying he's bad but saying that they kind of see him as a package deal so they they just don't see him signed to an extension but reportedly that they will prioritize extending Anthony Davis comes from Brian Windehorse earlier this week so my thought process is David McMinn, David McMinn is suggesting that LeBron and Anthony Davis are like a package deal, which I agree they are. But it doesn't mean you can't extend Davis because it's in their best interest to extend Davis because then he's still an asset that you can trade to kickstart a, re a rebuild to get assets. Now, you got to re-sign him to a contract that is still tradable. Okay, you can't be going out there and give him 60 million. What they said right there, three year, 167 million. That is what? Like 50, a little over 50 million a year. Yeah, like 55 million a year. Like that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Is that tradable? The cap's going up, so. There's that factor always, the cap is going up. So with the cap going up, does that make it not as bad of a deal? So that's still, I really think you extend him because again, it goes back to, it's still tradable. He's still tradable. I expect him to still be used him. And if you're still trying to contend, you know, having Anthony Davis as your building, you're like your, your core guy in a, in LA, Ain't that bad of a of a setup in my opinion. So let me know your thoughts. That's the video. But she should just wait to the five minute marker because like then it would just be dumb. Because five minutes should be like 
you know, it's interesting how YouTube works, but okay, I gotta go guys.